In the heart of the icy Antarctic, amidst the towering icebergs and snow-covered plains, lived a young penguin named Pip. Pip was a curious and adventurous penguin, always eager to explore the world around him. He loved to waddle along the shoreline, watching the waves crash against the ice, and gaze up at the sky filled with swirling clouds. One day, while Pip was exploring the beach, he came across a group of older penguins gathered around a strange object. It was a large, round ball with a shiny surface, unlike anything Pip had ever seen before. The penguins were poking and prodding at the ball, but they couldn't figure out what it was or where it had come from. Pip, unable to resist his curiosity, waddled over to the ball and gave it a gentle nudge. The ball rolled away, bouncing and spinning along the beach. The other penguins laughed as Pip chased after it, his flippers flapping wildly. Suddenly, the ball stopped rolling and began to rise into the air. Pip watched in amazement as the ball floated higher and higher, until it disappeared into the clouds. The other penguins gasped, their eyes wide with wonder. Pip knew that he had to find out more about this mysterious ball. He set off on a journey, following the direction in which the ball had disappeared. He waddled across the icy plains, climbed over snow-covered mountains, and swam through frigid waters. Along the way, Pip met many other creatures, each with its own unique story to tell. He met a wise old walrus who told him about the stars, a playful seal who taught him how to juggle fish, and a gentle giant whale who shared his songs of the sea. Finally, after many days of travel, Pip reached a place he had never seen before. It was a land of lush green forests and crystal clear rivers, where the sun shone brightly and the birds sang sweetly. In the middle of this land stood a magnificent castle, made of ice and snow but sparkling like a diamond. Pip knew that this was where the mysterious ball had come from. As Pip approached the castle, he saw a group of children playing in the courtyard. They were all dressed in colorful clothes and had wide, curious eyes. Pip waved to the children, and they immediately ran over to greet him. The children were fascinated by Pip, and they asked him all sorts of questions about his life in Antarctica. Pip told them about his adventures, his friends, and his love for exploring the world. The children listened with rapt attention, and when Pip finished his story, they cheered. They invited Pip to join them in their games, and Pip had the time of his life. As the sun began to set, Pip knew that it was time to return home. He said goodbye to his new friends and promised to visit them again soon. Pip waddled back to Antarctica, his heart filled with joy and wonder. He had learned so much on his journey, and he knew that he would never forget the mysterious ball and the land of lush green forests and crystal clear rivers.